Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm going to be making these Hallmark Christmas movie watching kits today. I uh, got this idea from Crafty Crafts by Dina. So thank you very much, Dina. This was a wonderful idea. And I wanted to show you how I put these together. Okay, so at the end of the video, I will be going over how much I paid uh, for all of these items, how much they cost, and what my cost is per box. So if you stick around for that, um, that could be helpful. So uh, we're going to need one pair of cozy socks. I tied a ribbon around them to make them look pretty. Uh, we're going to need some cookies. Two packs of hot cocoa, one pack of tissues, and I forgot my popcorn. We're going to need one bag of popcorn, excuse me for a moment, and then I will put in five peppermint candies. These kind. Uh, we're also going to need a 6x6 six six bakery box, um, some stickers for uh, to close the box, and some paper shred and confetti. And I'll show you all that later. Um, so I'm just going to get started. I bought these boxes on Amazon. Um, they came in a pack of 36 and they were $13.99. You just have to go through and fold it all the creases. Now, I was going to do this ahead of time, but I thought it might be helpful for everyone to see how I assembled them because at first I wasn't exactly sure how to do it. And I thought it might be helpful. So I'm just going to fold it at all of the Four lines. And this helps when you're putting the box together. Makes it easier to assemble. Okay. So these um, flaps here go in this slit on the side. It is a little tricky sometimes. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, so now our box is ready. I'm going to put some of this uh, paper shred in the bottom of the box, just a little bit. I don't think it needs much because it does take room, take up room in the box. So I like to put down my popcorn. and hot cocoa, put my cookies here, and then the cozy socks there, and then my tissues. And I bought this um, confetti at Hobby Lobby. I put it in a different bag because it had 
a seal on it. So I don't have the tag to tell you how much this one is. But I just sprinkle that on top. And I'm gonna add some, I'm gonna add five peppermints. That's what I have accounted for um, with the cost of this box. Okay. Let's make sure it's all in there. Okay. So we're just gonna close that up. And then I'm going to choose a sticker. And I'm going to seal the box with the sticker. That'll help hold it together. And it just, it looks pretty. Okay. Oh, I forgot to show you my ribbon. I got this ribbon from Hobby Lobby. This is the ribbon Dina used. It was so pretty. I wanted to use it to um, just going to sit it on the box or underneath the box to try and gauge how much. I'm going to need. Let's see. That looks good. I'm going to tie this in a knot. Um, this is wired ribbon. By the way. I like the wired ribbon because it holds its shape and um, it just looks really nice. Okay. And you do have to be careful when you tie this tight. Sometimes the ribbon will tear apart from itself. I made that mistake a couple times. So I'm just gonna spread it out. I'm going to trim, trim it. Okay. I'm going to be using um, this uh, red and white twine. I'm going to attach my label with this twine. Um, so I wanted to save the label. I wanted to talk about the label last. Um, I believe Dina made her tags on her Cricut. I do not have a Cricut and so I made mine on Avery.com. All you have to do is go on there and choose a template in the shape and the size that you 
want to use and they have lots of different uh, fonts and um, they did not they did not have a crown this was actually a no wait let me think okay they did have a crown so the crown is actually printed with the label um, the presents and these little designs here um, these are stamps and so all that printed on all that I could make on Avery um, website was this part and then the presents and this part are stamps um, stamps that I had and then I just colored in these little gifts right here and um, I, I hope to make a video showing how I make these labels um, on Avery but uh, for the sake of time I'm not going to do that today so I basically just printed uh, the labels out on my printer and then I attached um, I attached it to a piece of white cardstock just to make it a little sturdier so I hope that makes sense so we're just going to use the hole puncher and put a hole up here I'm going to attach it with this twine Actually, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put my what's inside on the bottom of this label. Now, you can see in the previous box I made, I put it on the front and nobody saw it. So they're sitting like this at the table and everybody, every single person came up and flipped this um, tag up. Now they're probably looking inside, but I think if I put the what's inside uh, list here, that will be a lot easier because all day long I had to say the contents of the box is in is on the front of the box and so I want to prevent that from happening. So I'm just going to get my tape runner and I'm going to glue this to the inside of my tag. I think it's probably a better idea anyway. But you learn from mistakes. And I think that'll be good because every single person flipped that tag. So that'll be good. Okay. I'm going to tie this underneath my bow. Like this. Actually, I'm going to tie it here first. And then I'm going to put it underneath there. These did really well at my show and that's why I'm making more. So I'm trying not to give it away but people love these and they're great gifts. They really are. I mean they're all packaged, they're wrapped, you don't have to do anything just give it as a gift and um, people love them all right and that is it I think it is so cute I love this idea I'm not sure where Dina got this idea but it was um, a really good one and I'm so thankful that she shared it and um, 
I'm sharing this with you guys today. Now I wanted to go over, oh, before I forget, I also made this label on Avery. I just used a square template and it printed out, it printed out like this. And I just used my paper trimmer and I just cut them all out. And there you go. All right, so I'm gonna go over um, pricing and where I bought all of my items. I know people like to know that so that they can uh, find them themselves. And um, all right, so here we go. So the bakery boxes I bought on Amazon, like I already said, they were $13.99 for 36 of them. Um, the socks I found at Kroger. They were buy one, get one half off. And so I paid $10 for three pair. And then I paid $5 for the next three pair. Alright, and so the paper shred I got at Hobby Lobby. It was half off for $1.50. Um, the wafer cookies I bought at Sam's Club. Um, if you can see that. They came in a box of 20. And... They were $5.98. That was an excellent deal. Um, I wanted to use Milano cookies, but I had a hard time finding them. And so I just went with these. I thought they were they looked nice. Okay. And the hot cocoa I bought in a big box of 30 at Walmart for $7. And the peppermints. Let's see. And find the lid. What did I do with the lid? Um, I got these at Sam's Club. Okay, find my lid. I don't know what I did with it. But anyway, I got these at Sam's Club. Uh, Three hundred and fifty, and they were fourteen ninety eight. Um, I bought a box of popcorn at Walmart. I've got it. Um, they were there were twelve in there, and they were four dollars and eighty two cents. I bought a pack of tissues. Uh, it came in a pack of eight at Walmart, and they were two dollars and forty eight cents. Okay, so let's go over cost. So, the bakery box was forty one cents. I did the math, and this is. This is what my cost is for one box. So the box is 41 cents. The socks came out to $2.50. Now, I know that I could buy these cozy socks at the Dollar Tree, but I wanted to get a nice pair that had the rubber grips on the bottom. And the ones at Dollar Tree do not have rubber grips. And so I just wanted to pay a little extra for um, socks that were a little nicer. So those were $2.50. My tissues were 31 cents. The cookies were 30 cents. Um, I figured the paper was 14 cents. Uh, the popcorn was 40 cents. Two packs of cocoa uh, was 47 cents. The peppermint puffs for five was 21 cents. Uh, the ribbon was 33 cents. And the stickers and confetti, I didn't really figure that in. I just thought that um, that that would just, it was just so little that I'll make it up in profit. So, my total cost for one box is $5.07. And I sell these for $15. And people do not mind to pay that much for a box. And the profit margin on this is really good. Uh, I hope this video helped you. I hope you make these. And um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.